My name is Andreas Gombert. Uh, I'm CTO of the company Concentrix Solar in Germany, a manufacturer of uh, CPV uh, systems. CPV is uh, concentrating photovoltaic systems which use an optical concentrator and very high efficient uh, solar cells in order to get the most efficient uh, photovoltaic uh, system technology available at the moment. Concentrator photovoltaic technology is relatively new, so we are still uh, entering uh, the market. Uh, the growth rates are rather significantly, so I would say in the last years uh, there were some uh, single digit uh, megawatt installations and now uh, the market is really ready uh, in order to go to the double digit uh, uh, megawatt installations with this uh, concentrating photovoltaic technology. A concentrating photovoltaic system consists of an optical concentrator. There are different uh, solutions to do it. In our system, we use an array of uh, relatively small Fresnel lenses uh, on a glass pane, which focus the light down on multi-junction solar cells. These multi-junction solar cells are extremely efficient, so the, the record efficiencies are close to 42% at the moment. And uh, by using these uh, highly efficient cells, you can also uh, produce modules with a very high efficiency. So the, the current module efficiency of our system is 27%. And finally, this brings you to a photovoltaic system technology with a solar to grid uh, AC efficiency of 25%. Uh, with the uh, feed-in tariff in Germany, uh, a lot of companies really uh, went into volume production, which on the one hand uh, showed a significant decrease of the cost of photovoltaics, which is uh, of course still the most important topic. And uh, at the same time, uh, there was a lot of uh, technical improvement made. Uh, in principle, uh, some of the photovoltaic technology which we see in the field nowadays uh, is not so different from uh, technology which was developed 20 years ago. But uh, exactly recently, we see that, for example, there are new modules coming up on the market, thin film modules, but also uh, advanced uh, silicon technologies, which have 20% uh, efficiency now on module level, which was not imaginable uh, 10 years ago. The electricity cost which we have uh, from uh, fossil fuels at the moment uh, are probably not the real cost. So the, the real costs are much higher. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a pot political question uh, how the whole cost story is covered. And uh, so politics is, of course, uh, very, very important, and uh, so I'm, I'm uh, very happy about the uh, goals of the European Commission uh, really to go into a direction uh, saying, well, a certain percentage of our uh, uh, well, energy demand really has to be covered by renewables. Uh, and I think without this uh, political support, uh, it would have been very, very difficult uh, to create uh, the industry. There's a lot of discussion about uh, when photovoltaics uh, reaches grid parity. I'm very sure in, in some of uh, the locations around the world, grid parity will be reached uh, from 2012 on. After having reached this important point really to reach the grid parity, uh, photovoltaic will, will really boost again significantly uh, because uh, finally if you look at the, well, at the energy uh, problem of mankind it's, it's very clear that uh, in the future there is no way to work without uh, renewables. Photovoltaics is certainly a very important part of the future energy supply uh, of the world. I'm happy that I really had the possibility to, to join uh, the solar community relatively early and uh, I'm absolutely sure and probably coming back to photonics. Uh, I mean photonics is the first and the important process of all uh, use of solar energy because you first have to bring the solar energy to the right place, uh, reduce losses, uh, distribute it, and these are all uh, photonic solutions uh, finally. 
Uh, one should not forget the second part, which is the conversion part uh, of the photon, but optics really plays an important role uh, in photovoltaics. So I was educated in optics and I'm absolutely happy that I can bring my expertise uh, to this uh, exciting field of research and also professional uh, career.